Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and thank you for coming back over to the house. All right, why don't y'all sit down, kick off your shoes... And just relax and listen to the commentary. How are y'all doing tonight? I hope well. I hope well. But again, thank you for coming over to the channel. Thank you for coming over to the house. And we got some business to talk about. Oh, yes, we do. The business is about Ben Affleck and his wife, Jennifer Lopez. Y'all remember her, um, uh, on the Fly Girls? On a different, with a living color. Uh, she was cute, young, and she thought she was having fun over there. But anyway, let's have a conversation. But we got to put our disclaimers out there. We're only critiquing, criticism, commenting, and giving our own opinions. All right? We don't know this to be factual, anything that we talk about on this channel. Unless I exclusively tell you I know it was true, and I can't get sued for it. Because they can't sue me for telling the truth. But that very, very rarely happens over here. <laughs> but thank you for coming to the channel. Give me a little bit of your time at your day. Remember to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, but we're going to talk about these two, honey. Because they was at the award show. I forgot what award show they was. The one Beyonce had worn. Some, um categories but she was still stuck in traffic but Jay-Z was there yeah they came separately I guess they had a little fuss fight before they had to come out to the award show and celebration but let's get into it Ben just looked like he getting scolded all the way around I'm like Jennifer are you his mother I thought you were his wife but are you his mother your teacher lawyer doctor preacher which one, child? Which one? Because uh, it doesn't look like being as happy. Even when y'all got married, it don't look like being as happy. I wouldn't be surprised that y'all would be at a divorce court. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm taping when I'm sleeping. But anyway, I don't want to go to sleep too early. Because then I don't rest at night. And I have to, you know, be waking up in the middle of the night. But yeah. I think the marriage was doomed. They should have just stayed girlfriend and boyfriend. Because he's running up, running from paparazzi and all this type of stuff. And I'm like, Ben, Ben, Ben. You wanted this. You wanted to be known. Now you want everybody just to forget about you. You want to be a normal person. When you walk, on, walk out into the world to meet and greet normal people, everyday, hardworking people. No, Ben. You better check with somebody a little older than you in the business. So they can tell you, man, what you thought you were going to be. You don't have your freedom no more. You caged up like an animal. Everybody's ready to, ready to catch a picture or they spy trying to make sure you're doing everything correctly. And if you don't, they're going to take that picture and going to make an exclusive here on these social media waves. So... I was like, Po Ben, Po Po Ben, Po Ben. I think he liked it better with um Anderson. No, it was that him. Was he at married to um Anderson or Anderson? Uh, I can't remember. Can't remember. But anyway, we go over to page six, and a Nikki Goldston wrote up an article, and she titled it "Miserable Ben Affleck Slams Door on Jennifer Lopez and Rowe." video. I'm like, ooh. People were blaming it on paparazzi and, and paparazzi following them everywhere they go. Uh, except for the toilet room. But if they could get that, they would get that. And such other social media outlets would put their spin on it.
But anyway, we go on to page six, and well, like I said, um, well, her title was, but in her article it says, Trouble in Paradise. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are again making headlines for their seemingly tense interactions. In a new viral video, the Argo director, 50, is seen opening up the car door for the Let's Get Loud singer, 53, and uh, a coffee run in Los Angeles. Los Angeles on Tuesday. However, after looking into the vehicle, Affleck appears to slam the door in a way that made fans question his mood. Mm-hmm. Ish. That's Ben Affleck visibly irritated slamming that door on Jennifer Lopez, one person tweeted. You, ha- <coughs> you can have it all and still be miserable, noted another. In third row, he purposefully looks away from her while she's getting in the car. They definitely were fighting. LOL. Okay. However, not everyone agreed with those observations, including one person who pointed out that perhaps the paparazzi made the Armageddon star upset. I think they saw the cameraman when walking towards the car, the fan tweeted. Uh, He's right then. I mean, he's right there. Jen kept her head down and Ben is naturally irritated as he motions to the cameraman at the end. Not a minute of privacy when you're famous should be the headline. Dude, he pissed off. He's been filmed again. A second person argued, agreed. The couple was then caught on Wednesday in what appeared to be a tense conversation at the Los Angeles uh, premiere of Lopez's new movie, The Mother. The couple then happily posed for photographs, giggled, and even shared a smooch. Okay, in February, the Giggly co-stars once again were a topic of conversation after Lopez was seen ordering a miserably looking athlete at the 2023 Grammys. However, the Air Star later clarified the situation, telling the Hollywood Reporter that he was merely joking with his wife. Now, when I saw him at that award show being one or joking, it's like you said, come on, let's go home. This board and say, hell, you ain't getting no award. <laughs> and damn, I damn sure ain't getting one. But uh, Jennifer had to, like, look at him a certain way, pointing her fingers. And he, we didn't have nothing else from being that night until the award show was over with. <laughs> it's just like she had put him and told him, don't say anything. Don't say another word until we leave this event. Now, we're not leaving right now. Okay, but going to the article, it says, um, the Deep Water star said when he realized the camera's crew was uh, framing them in the shot, he told Lopez, as soon as they start rolling, I'm going to slide away from you and leave you sitting next to Trevor. She goes, you better not, you better effing not leave, Alphalic added. There's a husband and wife thing. I mean, some of it, I'm like, all right, who is this act? The Oscar winner has also claimed sour expressions is merely the result of genetics. Listen, I have a very unhappy looking resting face, he joked to Jim, Jimmy Kimmel last March. No, you were just not having a good time and you wanted the people to stop looking at you and people to stop taking pictures of you. But again, when you're synonymous for making movies and you're considered to be a Hollywood star, that's what comes with the territory being why you did not get the memo. I don't know, but you need to go and talk to somebody of what it looks, what it looks like being famous and how people are going to be always taking pictures of you or stopping you, asking you what you felt about a certain topic. It just comes with the role. So you get paid very well to um, be on these platforms, so you should suck it up, okay? Uh, or go take the um, microphone from the paparazzi and have your own little interview, okay? That's all you could have did, and they would have been so grateful. They sure will. She would have. Uh, going back to the article, it says, listen, I have a very unhappy-looking resting face. He joked to Jimmy Kimmel last March. Alphalic and Lopez first started dating in the early 2000s and got engaged for the first time in 2002. However, they never made it down the aisle and split two years later. Both married 
and had children with their respective former spouses, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Gardner. Gardner. They then rekindled their love in 2021 after their divorces. Lopez and Al, Al Flick got engaged for a second time in April of 2022 and had a wedding in Las Vegas uh, that, that July and another lavish ceremony in Georgia late August. Reps for both movie stars did not return page six request for comment on their latest viral video. <laughs> it was no need to, um, what do you call it, um, have anything to say about what we thought was going on and how y'all acted at in the public. I'm kind of displaying supposedly good, cheerful banter with one another, smiling, and you know, just because you know the cameras are somewhere, they are lurking somewhere around, and they're gonna not have the time to get you on a bad shot, you know, like not catching the, the you know, your bad side, be trying to move to the good side. It, it's just a high mess trying to call yourself being a, a celebrity. But again, if you can't stay in the kitchen, get out of it, okay? Retire. But if you want to continue to make all that obscene money, then you're going to have to do certain things, okay? you got to give up your life to be the person that your fans relate to. Or your agent is telling you, hey, this is how you got started. Ride that gravy train until it runs out, then reinvent yourself to doing something else. But uh, Ben, he was like, shit, I'm tired of people. My thing is being if you're tired dealing with the paparazzi or whatnot then move move to what antarctica alaska somewhere where a lot of people don't be um what do you call it residing in that's what you need jennifer lopez is gonna go for it though because she like that hollywood life she like it love it and she has to have more and uh, you were a pretty good actor. I think gave you a B on the scales of A being the uh, lowest and Z being the highest. You see what I'm saying? So we put you in the middle somewhere. But honey, baby, boom, all that. Paparazzi is going to follow you. And if they can actually talk to you, that's even better. But they're going to get all those snapshots at your worst, at your best. They're going to get them. Because they know where you reside, and some paparazzi people be um they be hiding, or they'll come out of their hiding space if they can catch you either on the street where you're walking, or if you get caught, uh, them trailing you or, or whatnot until you eventually, and then they get out of the truck and come over there and try to interview you. See, that's what it did. That's why I'm always. In the news, everybody, I don't know what two of the paparazzi people like. I want to know, because then I can leave. And I shouldn't, you should not have to be bothered with me anymore. But, you know, like I said, people have gotten above themselves, but, and they do beneathing, beneathing type of things to other people. And uh, it's a crime, shame, and scandal. Uh huh. Don't understand why people flood the gates of trying to get into the business. Even YouTubers, you know, they can branch off into uh, something else. Um, like say they may do something or have a large following on their Instagram accounts or their YouTube accounts. They can start marketing stuff for different companies uh, because they're wanting your... Um, what you call a crowd of people that follow you, they want to introduce their products to you and you co-sign off if you like them and you can attest to that what they say the product does. They're going to use your following to continue to buy, build and um, try to come out and buy the product. And then if they like it, they're going to tell their friends. So, yeah. And then if you become, like I said, well-known, as a blogger or YouTuber, then other people are going to reach out to you. It could be somebody from the Hollywood clan down there. And then it's your choice whether or not you sign on a dotted line and having to have to be, uh, what do you call it, 
caged up with them in a sense when it, we're talking about your mind. You don't own that anymore. When you start messing with them big wigs in Hollywood, they tell you what they want you to tell the people. You don't have a say so. And then they make you go to all these press concerts, not concerts, but uh, conferences or whatnot. And it's not what you really want, but you know, you have to do it because you sign on the dollar line. So I wish a lot of artists that are really, really good could try to make their stuff go independent. And I know it's hard doing independence. It's like being an entrepreneur trying to sell this product that you wholeheartedly believe in. And you have seen the results for yourself. But you're trying to convince somebody else to go in business with you. But they put up front money, then you put up front money, or they put up uh, the front money all together. And then when everything gets solidified, uh, T's are crossed, uh, I's are dotted, they'll take it and to the elites and say, could we do this with this person? Because if, if they look like they can be manipulated. And I don't think they have to say the big people out there would be in agreement and say, okay, get her or get him. But little do he know, he owns us more than a contract agreement. We're going to, you know, take his spirit, his soul. We're going to leave him emptyless. But uh, that's, that's a hot mess, like I said. But go to both my channels, sign up uh, for a subscription, meaning just subscribe, okay? It costs you nothing. And if you like the content and the, uh, the banter, please come back, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.